In this video, I'm going to share with you the best defense for Trips Tight End right now in the Madden community. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you here to the channel. This channel is devoted to helping you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking for videos that can help you get better at the game, want to know what the best in the world are doing, I would really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. We study this game a lot and try to break down tips and tricks like this every day that can help you get better at the game. And so today we're going to give you a really, really good setup for trips tight in and a way that you can kind of combat a lot of the trips tight in meta and a really simple defense, honestly. It's really not that complicated, uh, but we're gonna share it with you. And it comes to us out of the 335 wide. Cover one robber is the audible that you would like to, I would like you to set in your audibles. And in your coaching adjustments, all you wanna do is make sure your option defense is on conservative. You might wanna put this on play receiver or play ball, that's up to you. And then that's pretty much it. I would also advise that you put mana line on that way your defense is always going to look the same in terms of how it's going to line up against trips tight end now you guys know that i like to put safeties at linebacker and audible into three through five wide but you could just come out and cover one robber if you wanted to as well and then last thing that i want to say before we get into the video is if you want to learn my entire uh, 46 defense i've got a ton of really good resources out of the four six this year we've got a whole ebook on 335 normal nickel normal 335 wide big nickel over g and dollar 326 in addition to some bear stuff so if you want to check all of that stuff out that'll be linked in the description you can get the whole ebook by joining my patreon and the cool part about my, my patreon is by joining that you're also going to get access to all of my madden ebooks both offense and defense and all of our weekly pro tips where we break down just little tweaks and things like that um, that the comp players are doing and just kind of how to stay on top of the meta okay so let's take a look here at cover one robber and other key one one more thing make sure all your zone drops are on default really important put all of those on default this is a tip that i broke down earlier in the year but we're going to pair it with a really good blitz setup out of this as well so we all know that the trip side in if you don't know the, the trip side in formation is primarily based on Godwin, the number three receiver. He's the guy that gets open on crossers and corners. Um, all, all of the best routes in trips, he runs them, okay? And so what we like to do to take this away is if we go down to the cover one robber, I'm actually gonna take this defender here and put him on a zone of my choice, whatever the zone is that I want. And then I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna put him on an inside quarter. And the way you do that is you hit X and flip your right joystick to the right, and you see that he's on the inside quarter. And what you'll notice is he'll actually guard Chris Godwin wherever he goes. He'll basically top his route, so he'll stay on top. And you see right here, he'll really do a good job at guarding the crosser. He'll also do a really good job at guarding any route that could potentially get over 30 yard clouds for example this vertical route is really good for getting over the top of 30 yard clouds so what we'll do is the exact same adjustment as you can see and you'll notice that this this crosser is going to get guarded and it's going to look kind of open and then i'm going to throw it and as you can see the guy will cut it off now it's not only really good for crossers but it's also really good for corner routes and again we talked about this early on in the season i want to say september and actually i actually like did a video on this concept and then kind of completely forgot about it but anyways you'll see right here here's pa corner notice that he runs the corner route really well and if i can click on there that's probably a swat maybe an interception so that's kind of point a of the defense now point b of the defense is um this little blitzing concept that we're able to do. And basically what we're going to do here, there's two different ways that we can set this up. So if you take a look here, you're gonna notice that you have this, when you run cover on robber man aligned, you have this guy in um, coverage and you have this guy in man coverage on the tight end. So there's a couple different ways we can run the blitz, but basically we're gonna spread our defensive line and then we're going to either blitz both of our linebackers or we're going to blitz this guy right here because we're going to use this guy in an inside quarter so in this example we'll actually leave him manned up and then we'll take this in, this 
three wreck and man him up on the tight end. So you see it looks like this. And then we're going to crash our line out, QB contain. Now really important, you wanna stand right here. And you wanna hold left trigger. And what you'll notice is if you kind of get into that guard's grill, you'll get really fast either sheds and disengages, or a lot of times you'll actually get the pressure to loop in completely free. And I'll show you that real quick. So, and the, the, a little bit more of an example of this, um, I'm gonna kind of try to stand, you know, kind of back in here, if you will, and then run down a little bit. But what you'll see here is this guard, when he just, when he engages with us, a lot of times that looper will come in and it's not, it's not as clear in practice mode, but trust me, this blitz and regs is really good. Um, and as well in mutt, it's really good in both, both of, uh, of those settings. And let me show you one more time. So we'll just, and then I'm going to show you one other way that you can run this blitz. And then I'm going to show you something else about coverage. So you see here, just engage with that guard and then come out. And like I said, a lot of times that guy will loop around the edge. Now, another way that you can run this blitz, and this is becoming one of my favorite ways to run it, is instead of blitzing the linebackers, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blitz that corner that is on that side. So you see, it looks like this. And I still like to put my guy, you know, down in here. And what you'll see is a lot of times you'll get this like kind of double screamer coming in off that left side. And it's really gonna be hard for the running back to pick it up. You honestly don't even have to contain. Uh, so I'll show you again. So you see here, we're gonna get this kind of overload blitz. And then I'm gonna inside quarter that safety. And now I have this three rec too, by the way. And what you'll see, a lot of times he'll pick up one. And then you see how 24 kind of comes around and, and picks him up. Now again, in mud, it's a lot better because they have better agility, better speed, better everything. But as you can see, you know, this is another way to run this, this concept. And if you run it this way, you might wanna leave your line kind of in like this, which is actually better for the run. And the only reason why is because you'll see it'll just give better space and you see how fast the pressure comes in. So those are two ways and two methods that you could send pressure um, against this formation. Now the last little piece that I wanted to break, break down is I talked about how this quarter zone is really good for crossers and really good for all of that stuff. The one thing it's not really that good for is anything underneath. So if I ran this blitz like so, and let's say that I ran a zig to Chris Godwin, what you would see is that that guy wouldn't play it very well and I'd be able to complete it. And the reason why is because it's kind of a, again, it's a topper. So if you want to play a little bit better coverage, what I suggest, um, another example, let me give you one more example real quick. Let's say that they do that. And let's say that they run a slant like this. This concept is really good as well because you see that nothing really guards that slant because again, it's top, it's, it's, it's topping the route. So how do we handle that? Well, what I like to do is simply inside quarter, we're actually gonna leave this guy manned up. Now this is my main, my main coverage defense against trip side end. If I wanna play coverage defense, this is my favorite play to call. So you're gonna see here that I'm going to um, have this have this guy here and I'm gonna have press coverage with Davis. Now another little trick that we can do is if we outside quarter Dean over here, let me show you something else about this. Let's say that we outside quarter him. You'll notice that he's gonna basically still play kind of a little bit better version of press man, okay? So as you can see, that's that's kind of, that you know, all that stuff is very effective. So what I like to do here is I like to shade my coverage down. That's gonna make this three rec play really good against slant routes, anything underneath. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quarter my safety and my number one corner on the outside. And then lastly, I can take this linebacker and just based on tendency, typically I'm gonna put him in a curl flat, um, but you could also put him in a vertical hook. But typically he's gonna go into a curl flat because he's gonna kind of help us a little bit. And really the key route that you have to pay attention to is this tight end post. That's really the only route that they're gonna have. So you see here that three rick's gonna guard that well. You're gonna kind of take that away and you see how, how you're gonna be able to kind of slow down this offense. 
Now, if I'm gonna send pressure, what I like when I send pressure is I really like that three rec for the slant. And then I'm gonna kind of jump to the zig. So if I see a zig, I'm gonna go cover that myself. But what you'll see here is I'm gonna blitz that, that cornerback. And then I'm going to have my quarter zones. And you're gonna see my blitz is gonna scream. And then I can kind of come over here and play. So really simple defense, but really effective defense for trips that in. If you wanna learn more defenses like this, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon membership. We've got this whole ebook for the 4-6 defense that is absolutely insane this year. Really good defense. So if you wanna learn how to contain escape artists, if you wanna learn how to play match, if you wanna learn how to play zone drops defense, um, if you wanna learn how to send some crazy blitzes, I would really encourage you to get into our Patreon. $10 is gonna get you access to all of our Madden strategy guides. We have over 25 offenses and defenses broken down in there. In addition to that, we also have weekly pro tips where we kind of keep you guys on top of what the competitive community is doing. So if you want to be, you know, kind of in the know on that stuff, I'd really encourage you. Um, it's just what the best of the best players are doing, how you can, and then also, um, you know, what you can do about it, how you can kind of handle it. So anyways, if you want to learn all that stuff, there's a link in the description where you can sign up for our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. And like I said, as soon as you sign up, you get access to this 335 wide ebook and also access to all of the other ones that we have over there. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the membership, there's a link in the description. So head on down there and click the link below.